Well, I picked me up another quad, another blaster. Give me something to do, a little project. Probably have it done here in like a couple of days. <laughs> um, when I picked it up, I mean, everything's here for it. Everything, I just been stripping it down, going through, seeing what's wrong with it, but I figured it out here and I'll show y'all. I thought maybe top end was, I mean, it's locked up, locked up, look. Like, locked up, locked up, like it's not turning. <laughs> Here's what happened. You saw the silicone. Right? Look at the oil port. <laughs> That's an oil port right there. Them are oil ports. See them oil ports? They're plugged up. When them oil ports get plugged up, the bearings do not get oil at all. So, that's what happened right there. That's my problem. I gotta pull the engine out now, split the cases. New bearings. New um, new crank bearings, I mean. And I'm going to get a new um, wrist pin bearing, too. Because, I mean, it's got silicone. Look at that. It's like they accidentally dabbed it. You can see the... the here, let me zoom in a little. You can see it right there. And it's gray. And gray and orange RTV they used. Should never use RTV on these. Ever. Never, 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 never. And this is exactly why right here. I mean, even... You... I don't know. I mean, you can use RTV, but I mean, man, that's that's just crazy the amount they used on this. This is what you're supposed to use right here. If you're gonna split cases, Yama Bond. Yama Bond for that's what you want for when you go to split cases. So yeah, I got a. So far, I'm looking at a set of bearings. Yeah, see how it is when I get it apart though because I mean the trans could Could be the same way. I probably have to go through everything in there And see when I get it apart though <laughs> But yeah, it's definitely top ends new yeah, Top ends brand freaking new it's Just enough run time for it to lock the bearings up <laughs> But um I'm gonna stop this and get to cracking on this thing